Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're doing a Too Good To Go review and this Too Good To Go review is from Polly's Pantry. Now, for anyone who doesn't live in the local area or for some people who do live in the local area, it's quite a secluded wee place um, in Click Manager. Um, it's just outside a place called Coles Naughton um, and basically what it is, it's a farm shop as well as a pantry. Um, it did used to be a bit of a cafe as well but the lady who served us today, who was lovely, um, told us that the owner has two small children and all of the businesses were just taking off so they have some outdoor catering as well, the cafe, the farm shop, everything and it was just all expanding at the same time. And so now they have decided to focus upon their out outside catering and they also have their um, sort of pantry but they do provide cake just sort of tea and cake really and a cup of tea rather than a sort of cafe menu that they used to have um, it is down a little bit of a farm track road you need to go very very slowly down it um, just so you don't damage your car but we absolutely love visiting there today and our two good to go bag let me tell you is very heavy indeed. Um, I was actually a bit concerned that the um, the paper bag wouldn't hold the weight. Thankfully it did. So let's have a look inside our bag. It is very heavy and there is a lovely smell coming from the bag. I'm not sure what it is but certainly let's discover it with yourselves at home. So first of all we have this bag here. A little bit of sort of staining on the bag there just from whatever's inside. Oh, it smells like tiger bread and it is a lovely looking homemade baguette. Now, it does smell like that really lovely Moorish smell that you have with tiger bread. Personally, I love tiger bread, but this almost smells a little bit like chilli. So I think it may be maybe a salt and chilli um, baguette or loaf, whatever you want to call it. Um, it smells absolutely divine. You can see some little small salt crystals on there as well. And I presume the little flecks are chilli. So really, really happy with that. Next on our list is A red and a green paper. And they smell they smell lovely as well. I love peppers, I don't know about you, but I love just throwing them in the oven, a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt and uh, sort of salt and pepper, and just throw them in and they make almost a meal on their own, really, don't they? Um, we also have oh this is quite heavy. Oh my goodness, I know exactly what this is. This is a banana loaf, I can smell it. Oh, lovely. So banana loaf, for anyone who knows how good a banana loaf is, then this certainly will go down very well in this household with plenty of lurk pack. Other brands of butter are available. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to having some of this. Pop this back. It won't last long. Okay. okay. Next on the list is premium British asparagus, grown in the heart of England. Oh, losing one there. There we go. Oh, I love these. We have some proper carrots. Now, they're not huge, they're not perfect looking, but do you know what? They will go to good use. As I said, you know, throwing the peppers in the oven, um, these will go to good use. So I'm really looking forward to using them. And you know, I think it's really nice that they are in their original state, as nature intended. And unfortunately, unless you pay a little bit extra, uh, these days anyway, you will not see carrots like this in the supermarkets. So I think that's a really, really nice little touch that I just, I wasn't expecting to be honest. So we'll pop this down. We have 
two pretty large red onions. These are pretty, these are huge actually, um, much, much bigger than you would get in your supermarkets, I believe, from the last time I was in. Um, two sort of white or brown onions, whatever you want to call them. Two large bulbs of garlic as well, and they look in really nice, neat condition as well. Sometimes with garlic, I feel it can be a bit, looks a bit bashed and bashed up, um, unless it's in its little sort of net bag that you often get them in the supermarkets, but these look lovely. They smell great, I love garlic again. Throwing it in with the veg in the oven, I think that's definitely what we're gonna do. Pop these down here. We have two Pink Lady, so branded, Pink Lady apples. food which would have been in the bin if we didn't save it um, we have got three sweet potatoes and they're of a really good decent size um, personally it's not something I buy all the time because I just don't however when I do get sweet potato fries or sweet potato mash I do really enjoy it and I think what we'll probably do with these is maybe make some wedges in the air fryer um, they're in a really good shape as well. I know that sounds a bit funny, but sometimes if the sweet potatoes are too thin and long, it can be quite difficult to get good chips out of them or wedges, but certainly these are these are a really good shape um, for, for doing that. And okay, <laughs> last but not least, we have two little items here. I'm not sure what these are. Um, I honestly don't know what they are, but I'm going to hold them up to the camera. If anyone knows what they are, bearing in mind it may, these may not be the freshest vegetables or fruits around, um, you know, because it is food that was going to go to waste otherwise. Everything else looks really, really good condition. Nothing is funny or off or anything. These are slightly soft, so I'll just show you. There's a little bit of squish to them. I'm usually pretty good with my food and my fruits and vegetables and fish and whatever else. Normally pretty good at knowing what it is, but I honestly don't know what these are. <laughs> um, can we open one? That's the question. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> There's a bit of bend to it, I'll give you that, but even with my nails, Oh, okay, so I think these may be lychees. Honestly, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is what it looks like inside. Lychees, I think I've got a bit of a stone in the middle, haven't they? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's what it looks like inside. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'll just give it a try. Savoury, it's definitely not a fruit. I think it is a vegetable. Um, cassava, I'm not sure. If any one of you at home knows what this is, please let me know in the comments below, that'd be much appreciated. Not because I'm necessarily going to eat this now, well, I probably will, but now that I've cut it in half. But we do have another one there, and I would like to really know what it is, um, just from my own knowledge and understanding of what we might get if we go back to Polly's Pantry again for another Too Good To Go Bag. Now, I mentioned earlier that there is an, a, a, you know, there's a, a farm shop, there was a cafe, it's now just sort of like a cake and, cake and cup of tea type place if you want one. Um, the cakes that were there for sale looked absolutely delicious. Um, they have a lovely setup inside with some really, really high quality items in there. I will definitely be back to buy from the farm shop. I love a farm shop. Um, and the produce was fantastic. It was all very local, and I really like to see that as well. Certainly from our point of view, they also have some lovely little photos and paintings and drawings inside 
They do have an art gallery there, so it is often called Aberdona Gallery. Um, however, we were there just for the food section. We didn't go to the gallery, unfortunately, this time. But there were some sort of photos, etc., dotted around, which were beautifully done, by the way. Um, so if anyone is local or you want to come from further afield, check it out. It was really worth a trip and I'll definitely be back. Now, for everything that we got, I am blown over <laughs> by everything that we got because I think the quality is really good. The bread especially smells absolutely phenomenal. The banana loaf, the vegetables, the fruit, everything is of such high quality and I am really, really happy that we've been able to save this from going into the bin. Um, again, as I've said in previous videos, if you saw all of this in a bin, lying to be taken away to landfill or whatever happens to it, it's quite a sorry sight really, isn't it, to see that people could be benefiting from it, animals could be benefiting from it, and for it just to go into the waste, then that really is quite poor on our part, isn't it? So thankfully we did we did save this, I've got a few plans, as I said, for our vegetables. I've definitely got a plan for that baguette, I cannot wait to eat it, to be honest, and the lovely, lovely banana bread loaf as well. So all in all, we paid a total of £4 for this bag. I am shocked it was only £4 worth. Um, I think we got a lot more than that for our money. The original price should have been around £12 and I think we definitely exceeded that. A loaf on its own, I would expect to pay maybe £5, £6 in a farm shop for one of them. The baguette on its own as well, a couple of pounds at least. And then all of the fruit and vegetables that we've got, I mean, we have lots of fruit and vegetables here and it's certainly right up our street. Again, if anyone knows what that little vegetable is, please let me know, that would be really helpful if you can or if you can find out for me, that would be really helpful as well. And certainly from our point of view, it's a 4.8 rating on Too Good To Go out of five. And from my point of view today, it's a five out of five, 100%. And we will definitely be back, whether it is to get a Too Good To Go bag or whether it is to go to the farm shop and potentially get a wee cup of tea and a cake, then 100% we will be there. So I hope this has been a really useful um, review for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've been able to, you know, see what we can get in a type of farm shop too good to go bag bag. Um, all in all, I'm really pleased with what we got and I hope you are too. I hope you enjoy our review and our video. And as always, thank you so much for continuing to watch and support our channel. It really does mean a lot. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.